Now, how do you get a relationship with God again? There's only one thing you can do. If you did something wrong with your wife, if you disrespected your husband, how do you get the relationship again? How do you fix things again? The first thing you need to do is you need to admit that you were wrong. There is so much pride in Ethiopia. No one wants to admit they made a mistake. The men, the men, don't want to admit they're wrong. And so many wives are walking around miserable because their husband will never admit they were wrong. So many men are walking around miserable because their wife will never admit that she was wrong. So many Ethiopians are walking around miserable because the government will never admit they were wrong. The police will never admit they were wrong. Nobody wants to be wrong. But everyone's walking around miserable. So how do we fix the problem? You will never have a good relationship with anybody until until you admit you were wrong. Have you wronged anybody before? Have you hurt anyone before? Have you made a mistake with anyone before? If you want to restore that relationship, the first thing you must do is admit I made a mistake. I am wrong. The second thing you need to do is ask forgiveness. You need to apologize. Say, can you please forgive me? But there's another thing. If you just apologize, but you don't change, there's no payment to restore what was broken. Things will be the same. I'm here to tell you today, you sinned against Almighty God. And some of you act like you did it. Some of you are walking around as if you did nothing wrong. You think God's going to let you to heaven because you think you're living a good life. You say, I'm not as bad as that guy. You say, I'm not as bad as she is. So you think you're righteous. But when you stand before God, my Orthodox friends, my Muslim friends, my Protestant friends, when you stand before God, you're not going to be as righteous as you think you are. You have sinned against the Holy God. You have no, no posting rights with God. 
This is why every knee is going to bow. Right now. The reason why you think you're holy. Is because you have not experienced the holiness of God. Every prophet. Who has ever stood before God. They had to bow. Because they saw their own imperfection. The only thing we can do when we stand before God if we want a relationship with God we must admit that we are sinners that you have sinned many people think that they are righteous with God they pray five times a day. They go into the church. And they look at somebody else. And they say, I'm better than they are. I will go to heaven. But just because you pray five times a day, that doesn't mean your sins are forgiven. Just because you have a cross on your neck, that doesn't mean your sins are forgiven. You need to know today you are a sinner and you need to apologize and call on the name of the Lord and say I was wrong I'm a sinner forgive me but that's not enough I have a white shirt on if I pour in, in, in uh, shino on my shirt my shirt would not be entirely white. My shirt would be dirty. Now I can talk to you and say I'm sorry that I messed up the shirt. Would you forgive me? Now you can look at me and say this. I'm sorry that you messed up the shirt. But the shirt is still dirty. I can see that you're sorry. But this shirt has to go in the washing machine. This shirt needs more than a sorry. This shirt needs water. This shirt needs soap. This shirt needs something else beside you. I come to tell you. You can say to God, forgive me. But unless you have the blood of Jesus. Unless you have the water of the word. Unless you accept the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Your sorry is just words. Your sorry is just words. But Jesus can take away your sin. Jesus can pay the penalty for your sin. Nothing else can.